What's up, my fellow speedsters? Or should I say, NPCs? And I have a way to explain this. You saw the title of the video. You saw the thumbnail. Yes, the world was created. October 10th, 2006. <laughs> and let me explain. For those of you that maybe don't know, I was born on that day. And you may say, oh, how narcissistic is this guy? He thinks that the world was created the day he was born? And yes, I do. So, I'm 15 at the moment. I have done, I'm in ninth grade now, so 10 years of school. Plus my mother teaching me at home and preschool as well. And all those years have added up to lots of time learning about history. And in history class, you learn about ancient Egypt, Greece, you know, then you learn, you get closer. You learn about slavery, civil so rights movement, World War II, World War I, <laughs> Vietnam War, the Cold War, the American Civil War, the Revolutionary War, the Spanish Civil War, you name it. You learn about all these battles and wars, Egyptian slavery, depending on religion. You may learn about Christian, Catholic, Baptist, all these different histories. But how can you prove to me that all those things happened? And let me explain. Everything that I see everything that I am told can be made up. Let me explain. I'm not saying that everything before I existed is, is fake. I'm saying that it's not real. My teacher teaches me about American history, shows me videos, shows me pictures. How do I know those things are real? I didn't see them. So this is how the theory goes. Every single person was created into this reality on October 10th, 2006, the day that I was born. <laughs> and you were made to think, you had the memories to think that you existed before then. But an actual reality in this this simulation, you didn't. Everyone is just an NPC and you are programmed with false memories. You're made to think you were born in 1987. You were made to think you were born in the 1940s. When the truth is the Great Depression happened in your programming. You see, there's no way that you can prove to me that everything that happened before I existed actually happened. Because you can't send me back to that time. You could show me a video, but then I would just say, the video is false as well. And I'm not saying the video is edited. I'm saying the video is showing something that didn't actually happen in the simulation. It happened before the simulation even existed. What I think is happening is there are writers that put me into the simulation and they basically wrote a false history. They're writing, they're writing it out as it goes on. Why, why else would America be in the state that it is in right now? They wanna make things interesting. This is a movie for people. And you know I'm right. You're starting to think about it. Have you actually ever met anyone? A historical figure that you learned about in history? Huh? You ever learned about Genghis Khan? Hmm? Hmm. Big brain. Big brain. And even if you did meet those people, some people may be like, yes, I've met people that experienced the Great Depression. programming 
I'm not going to spend too long in this video because I know there will be people that do not want to accept the truth. But the truth is, is that we're in a simulation and there's writers out there just writing this stuff in. History didn't actually happen. They're false memories. I am definitely serious. Okay. So this is Lord Speed Out. I'll, I'll continue on with the channel. Continue on. They're just writing my life. This, there's no such thing as free will. Everything that I do right now, even me talking to you, is decided by them. In my perception of reality, I say that I'm the main character. But my theory can be false. Maybe the world was created March 12, 2004. And everything before then was a false history. Maybe the world was made in, let's say, May 7th, 1945. And everything before then was a programmed history. But the theory still stands. We are all fake. We are all programmed people. This reality isn't real. Your perception of reality is different than everyone else's. This world we all say we're in isn't, isn't actually a world. The history and the knowledge that we know isn't real knowledge. Because we're limited by the, the information that our human brain can understand. <laughs> but what is it to be human? You know? Because what I'm saying is the people outside of the simulation, they may not even be human. We may be just fragments of their imagination, manifestations. <laughs> it's like when Dr. Seuss writes a book, he makes a talking cat. That's fiction. And we're fiction to them. Or speed out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Or will I?